So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and well guys, I don't even know where to start with this armor set. It has to be the most bizarre I have seen so far. I don't know, I, I, I don't know what to do with it. But either way guys, today I'll showcase you how you get it. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the Dong Eater Omen Armor Set. I mean, to be honest, if you're looking for tank armor, there ain't many better in the game. I won't lie to you. I mean, there's probably one or two armor sets I've seen more tankier than this. There's no two which ways about it. So this is obviously obtained from the Dong Eater who appears within the round table. I'm pretty certain after you reach a certain area, Altus Plateau maybe, I think it is, yes it is. But yeah, when you first speak to him, he'll just dismiss you, it's as simple as that. He will just straight up dismiss you. But that's until you can show him the Seed Bed Curse. Now this is an item in the game, there's actually five you need to collect to complete his quest line, which has an effect on the ending. But what I will say is, for me, I ruined that because I progressed too far into the game. My capital kind of went kaput because I uh, killed, uh, what's his name over here within the Dragon Temple, uh, Malekith. And once you do that, guys, the capital, although it's still there, it changes slightly. And I don't want to spoil anything for you. But there's a couple of these seed bed curses in here, or at least one anyway. Um, I can't get it because like I said mine's changed so I couldn't complete his quest line so I won't have well he won't have any effect on my ending but either way you can still get his armor set so upon the round table when you show him a uh, seedbed curse he eventually sends you to the capital into the sewers once you are in here guys you go and speak to him well you speak to his actual proper form in the sewers so once you are there you then need to go to this point on the map right here. He will invade you. Now upon him invading you guys, you get his weapon when you kill him. Then guys, you need to go back to the round table and exhaust all his dialogue again in that back room. Once you've done this guys, you then need to go back to the sewers within the capital, the same place he was located last time, and you need to give him five of these sea bed curse items. If you can't give him five of them, you can't progress any further. Now you can kill him straight away when you first meet him in the sewers if you want to. You can kill him and get his armor if that's what you want to do. And I think his weapon may drop as well. But if you don't want to do that, then you need to collect them five sea bed curses, which like I said, there's a couple in the capital. So make sure whatever you do, do not kill Melikith until you've got them all and also gathered everything else in this area that he may want But yeah guys, it really is as simple as that once you give him the five uh, Seabed curses, I think it basically ends there. It could have another step. I'm not certain like I said I can't progress mine But I think that is the end of it and then I'm pretty certain it has an effect on an ending or so I've read Anyway, I'm gutted I actually can't uh, experience it this time, but I'll probably do on my new game plus. Now actually, let's check out this weapon. Okay, so, uh, where's his weapon? I think it's called the Sword of... There it is right there, guys. This is it right here. Let's check it out. Okay, so there's the bad boy. Let's see what this does. I actually ain't looked myself, to be honest. I'm not even going to lie to you. I forgot I had it. I'm not like I had this armor set. Bam! That's what we do. We do a shockwave sort of thing. Know that buffs the player, which is pretty cool. We like this kind of thing. We really do. Whoa, boom, boom, boom. You know that's not too bad. Whoa, boom! Jesus, it's a badass looking sword too, as well. By the way, doesn't really suit this armor set, but hey ho, that's what we gotta do. But that's what we gotta do, guys. So yes, people, that is how you get the Omen armor set. And this amazing looking sword. And there we have it guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.